I think for those with a strong family history, I think the first thing to do would be to actually seek a consultation with uh, a surgeon or a physician who's more genetically aware. Because genes are something that uh, requires some degree of specialized knowledge in order to be able to understand and explain clearly. So if you have a strong family history, it's important to at least approach someone who can tease out that family history and piece together a family tree, get a comprehensive picture. And once it's ascertained that the links are strong, where the risk is suspected to be high, then based on the type of cancers that have occurred in the family, the, the counselling person, the counsellor, would be able to advise you which genes we should be targeting as far as screening is concerned. Now, screening is important because it helps. We'll talk about genetic screening here. It's important because it helps us to identify members of the family who might be at risk, who has yet to get a cancer, but who might be at risk. In the strongest genetic syndromes, about the risk of getting a gene being transmitted from one generation to the next is about 50% risk. So in this family where the risk is high, half the children or the offspring could have a risk of carrying the genetic disease and manifesting the disease somewhere down the line. So having a genetic test helps us to identify which of the 50% of the people in your family carries the gene and therefore you need to be scrutinized very closely with very close follow-ups, maybe a more regular check, for example. And which are the other 50% of people who are absolutely not at risk, no different from anybody walking around the streets, a, a general population. So that that half of the family can actually live life without undue fear and anxiety. And of course, if you look at this, this matrix, you realize that actually it, the worst thing that can happen in a family like this would be that half that carries that gene is blasé about it, taking it too easy, and then having lightning strike second, third, fourth time in the same family. On the other hand, it could be the other half who's actually not carrying the bad genes, who should be leading a good, carefree and normal life, but who's totally anxious and worried sick about them being you know, in the bad half when they're actually not. So you could have a, a misallocation of resources and a lot of undue anxieties, or maybe a lot of bad risk-taking behavior in the wrong side of the family. So having a genetic information can help clarify the situation, allowing people to move on and also allowing people to take uh, preventive measures adequately. So from the cost effectiveness perspective, it makes more sense.